Hello everyone, my name is Lachlan and I am your host today for this Bible quiz that we have. There's going to be a bunch of multiple choice questions with answers and some descriptions and explanations as to where the answer came from. So I encourage you guys to, to pay attention and let's see how many that you can get right in this Bible quiz today. First question for us is, in the New Testament, the Sea of Galilee is also referred to as the what? Is it the Sea of Tiberias, the Sea of Chinnereth, or the Red Sea? The answer to question number one is the Sea of Tiberias. In John chapter 6 verse 1, it says, Sometime after this, Jesus crossed to the far shore of the Sea of Galilee, that is the Sea of Tiberias. Question number two. Jesus once fed a crowd with five loaves and two fish. This multitude consisted of 5,000 blank. Was the blank men, women, and children, men and women besides children, or men excluding women and children? And the answer is men excluding women and children. And in Matthew chapter 14, verse 16 through 21, it says the number of those who ate was about 5,000 men besides women and children. Question number three. In the book of John, Jesus says, He that is without sin among you, let him first cast a stone at her. Which sin had the woman committed in this narrative? Is it adultery, theft, or murder? And the answer is adultery. In John chapter 8, verse 3 to 7, it says the teachers of the law and the Pharisees brought in a woman caught in adultery. They made her stand before the group. Question number four, who said, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Was it Paul, Jesus, or John the Baptist? And the answer is Jesus. In John chapter eight, verse 32, it says, then you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Question number five, which tribe did Paul belong to? Was it Levi, Naphtali, or Benjamin? And the answer is Benjamin. In Philippians chapter 3 verse 5, it says, Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, in regard to the law, a Pharisee. Question number six. What was Paul's original name depicting his Jewish heritage? Was it Gideon? Saul or Absalom? And the answer is Saul. In Acts chapter 13 verse 9, it says, Then Saul, who was also called Paul, filled with the Holy Spirit, looked straight at Elymas and said, Question number 7. Which apostle was cast out and stoned to death as Paul stood by and watched. Was it Timothy, Stephen, or Philip? The answer is Stephen. In Acts chapter 7, verse 8, 58 to 59, it says, Then they drove him out of the city and began stoning him, and the witnesses placed their outer robes at the feet of a young man named Saul. Question number 8. I baptize you with water but there comes one that will baptize with blank. Is that blank love, the Holy Spirit, or holy water? And the answer is the Holy Spirit. In Matthew 3, verse 11, it says, I baptize you with water for repentance, but he is, who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I'm not worthy to carry. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire. Number nine. According to Revelation 21, which material is used to make each of the 12 new gates? Was it pearl, onyx, or gold? The answer to question number 9 is pearl. Revelation 21 verse 21 says that the 12 gates were 12 pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. The great street of the city was of gold, as pure as transparent glass. Question number 10. On which of these mountains did an angel appear to Moses in the form of a flaming bush? Was it Mount Horeb, Mount Moriah, or Mount Hermon? And the 
the correct answer is Mount Horeb. In Exodus chapter 3 verse 1 to 2, it says, And he, he led the flock to the far side of the wilderness and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. There an angel of the Lord appeared to him in flames of fire from within a bush. Question number 11. Which one of these was Deborah's prophecy? Was it the coming of the Messiah? The Canaanites would defeat Israel? Or a woman would defeat Sisera? And the answer is that a woman would defeat Sisera. In Judges chapter 4 verse 9, it says, Certainly I will go with you, said Deborah, but because of the course you are taking, the honor will not be yours, for the Lord will deliver Sisera into the hands of a woman. Question number 12. Who offered refuge to Sisera when the Israelites attacked him? Was it Jael, Adonibazek, or Jabin? The correct answer is Jael. In Judges chapter 4 verse 17, it says, But Sisera fled away on foot to the tent of Jael, the wife of Herba the Kenite, for there was peace between Jabin the king of Hazor and the house of Heba the Kenite. Question number 13. Which one of Isaac's sons sold their birthright for a bowl of stew? Was it Jacob to Esau, Esau to Jacob, or Ishmael to Jacob? The correct answer is Esau to Jacob. In Genesis 25 verse 32 to 34, it says, Look, I am about to die, Esau said. What good is the birthright to me? But Jacob said, Swear to me first, so he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. Question number 14. Abraham once lied about Rebekah being his sister instead of his wife. Was this true or false? The correct answer is true. In Genesis chapter 26 verse 7, it says, when the man of that place asked him about his wife, he said, she is my sister, because he was afraid to say, she is my wife. Question number 15. When Rebecca was giving birth to her twins, the second child grasped one of the parts of the first child. Which part was this? Was it the heel, the foot, or the toes? The correct answer is the heel. In Genesis 25 verse 26, it says, after this, his brother came out with his hand grasping Esau's heel, so he was named Jacob. Question number 16. Which one of these people was Isaac's brother-in-law? Was it Lot, Levi, or Laban? The correct answer is Laban. In Genesis chapter 24, verse 29, it says, now Rebekah had a brother named Laban, and he hurried out to the man at the spring. Question number 17. Which animal did God provide unto Abraham to be used as a burnt offering in place of his son Isaac? Was it a goat, a ram, or a bull? The correct answer is it was a ram. Genesis chapter 22 verse 13 says, Abraham looked up, and there in a thicket he saw a ram caught by its horns. He went over and took the ram and sacrificed it as a burnt offering instead of his son. Question number 18. In Genesis 26, Isaac's servants and the herders of Gerar conflicted over what? Was it the building of the altars, ownership of the wells, or intercultural relationships? And the correct answer is ownership of the wells. In Genesis 26 verse 20 to 22, it says, Then they dug another well, but they quarreled over that one also, so he named it Sidna. Question number 19. Who among the following was not one of Elkanah's whites? Was it Ruth, Hannah, or Peninnah? The correct answer was Ruth. In 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 1 to 2, it says he had two wives. One was called Hannah, and the other Peninnah. Peninnah had children, but Hannah had none. Question number 20 is how long did the Israelites walk around Jericho before the walls fell? Was it 40 days, 6 days, or 10 days? The correct answer is 6 days. In Joshua chapter 6 verse 3, 
Joshua says, March around the city once with all the armed men and do this for six days. Question number 21. What promise did Hannah make to God if he were to bless her with a male child? Was it the son would grow up in the tabernacle? She would never shave her son's hair? Or she would devote her life to serving God? The correct answer is she would never shave her son's hair. And she made a vow saying, Lord Almighty, if you will only look on your servant's misery and remember me and not forget your servant, but give her a son, and I will give him to the Lord for all the days of his life, and no razor will ever be used on his head. Question number 22. According to the third chapter of the book of Acts, Peter and John healed a man suffering from, was it leprosy, lameness, or deafness? The correct answer is lameness. In Acts chapter 3 verse 2, it says, Now a man who was lame from birth was being carried to the temple gate called Beautiful, where he was put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts. Question number 23. Who is described as being the oldest man in the Bible, and how old was he when he died? Was it Lamech, 979 years, Methuselah, 969 years, or Noah, 979 years? The correct answer is Methuselah at 969 years. In Genesis 5 verse 27, it says altogether Methuselah lived a total of 969 years and then he died. Question number 24. How long had Enos been paralyzed before being healed by Peter? Was it 38 years, 12 years, or 8 years? The correct answer is 8 years. In Acts chapter 9 verse 32 to 34, it says, As Peter traveled about the country, he went to visit the Lord's people who lived in Lydda. There he found a man named Aeneas, who was paralyzed and had been bedridden for eight years. In the book of Samuel, how were the Philistines defeated when they attacked the nation of Israel? They were killed in a flood, they suffered from a plague, or they were struck down by thunder and became confused. The correct answer is they were struck down by thunder and became confused. In 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 10, it says, But that day the Lord thundered with loud thunder against the Philistines and threw them into such a panic that they were routed before the Israelites. Question number 26. How many talents were given to the first servant in the parable of the talents? Was it three, seven, or five? The correct answer is five. In Matthew 25, verse 14 to 15, it says, And unto one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one. Question number 27. To whom is the book of Acts addressed? Is it Caesar, Paul, or Theophilus? The correct answer is Theophilus. In Acts chapter 1, verse 1, it says, In my former book, Theophilus, I wrote about all that Jesus began to do and to teach. Question number 28. According to scriptures, how did Isaac and Rebekah treat their sons? Isaac loved Jacob more, Rebekah loved Esau more. Both sons were treated equally by their parents, or Rebekah loved Jacob more and Isaac loved Esau more. The correct answer is Rebekah loved Jacob more and Isaac loved Esau more. In Genesis 25 verse 28, it says Isaac, who had a taste for wild game, loved Esau, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Question number 29. Fill in the gap. He who has begun blank in them will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Is that blank a new church, a good work, or salvation? The correct answer is a good work. And in Philippians 1 verse 6, it says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. Question number 30. Paul was born in a city called Tarsus. In which country is this city located? Is it Greece, Syria, or Turkey? The correct answer is Turkey. In Acts 22 verse 3 it says, I am a Jew born in Tarsus of Cilicia, brought up in this city. I studied under Gamaliel and was thoroughly trained in the law. Question number 31. 
which fellow laborer was Paul so closely affiliated with that they ended up having a feud and going separate ways at Antioch? Was it Mark, Barnabas, or Silas? The correct answer is Barnabas. In Acts chapter 15, verse 39, it says they had such a sharp disagreement that they parted company, and Barnabas took Mark and sailed for Cyprus. Question number 32. What is the name of the magician that Paul condemned? Was it Agabus, Elemus, or Zachariah? The correct answer is Elemus. In Acts chapter 13, verse 8 to 10, it says, But Elemus the sorcerer, and that is what his name means, opposed them and tried to turn for counsel from the faith. Question number 33. Which animal attacked Paul while he was gathering firewood after arriving on his ship in Malta? Was it a fox, a snake, or a bear? The correct answer is a snake. In Acts chapter 28, verse 1 to 5, it says Paul gathered a pile of brushwood, and as he put it on the fire, a viper, driven out by the heat, fastened itself on his hand. Question number 34. Who was imprisoned alongside Paul? Was it Silas, Mark, or Barnabas? The correct answer is Silas. In Acts chapter 16, verse 19 to 25, it says, When her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. Question number 35. How many days did Paul spend at Judas's house in a state of blindness and without drinking or eating? Was it seven days, three days, or one day? The correct answer is three days. And in Acts chapter 9 verse 9, it says for three days he was blind and did not eat or drink anything. Question number 36. Who cured Paul of his blindness? Was it Apollos, Peter, or Ananias? The correct answer is Ananias. In Acts chapter 9 verse 17, it says then Ananias went to the house and entered it. Placing his hands on Saul, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road as you were coming here has sent me so that you may see again. Question number 37. In the parable of the prodigal son, which one of these was not among the items the father gave to his son? Was it sandals, a robe, or a pearl? The correct answer is pearl. Luke chapter 15 verse 22 says, But the father said to his servants, Quick, bring the best robe and put it on him. Put a ring on his finger and sandals on his feet. Question number 38. How many people entered Noah's ark and were saved from the floods? Was it seven, eight, or nine? The correct answer is eight. Revelation chapter 1 verse 9 says on that very day Noah and his sons Shem, Ham, and Japheth together with his wife and the wives of his three sons entered the ark. Question number 39. On which mountain did Noah's ark land? Was it Moriah, Ararat, or Horeb? And the correct answer is Ararat. Genesis chapter 8 verse 4 says, And on the seventeenth day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest on the mountains of Ararat. Question number 40. Whom did Deborah command to lead the Israelites in the fight against Sisera? Was it Zebulun, Naphtali, or Barak? And the correct answer is Barak. In Judges chapter 4 verse 6, it says she sent for Barak, son of Abinoam, from the Kadesh and Naphtali, and said to him, The Lord, the God of Israel, commands you, Go take with you ten thousand men of Naphtali and Zebulun, and lead them up to Mount Tabor. Thank you so much for playing this Bible quiz today. Uh, let us know what score you got in the comments below, and make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss another quiz when it comes out.